Welcome everyone and in this video I would like to show you a new product, a new product for me from Hobbies on PL. It's a paint stand. Uh, this stand is uh, dedicated to GW paints uh, so it means that it's for 36 mm paints, the old pots uh, that we've got right now and uh, so let's unpack it and see what's actually inside. Um, this stand I got from, uh, as I said, from Hobby Zone PL. Uh, the stand, the tray that I've got over the, over here, is also from Hobby Zone PL, and I've had it for like years, and it still uh, works for me very well. I only painted it black because it fitted my uh, other desk perfectly. So, opening the box, we've got uh, a lot of cardboard. So let's just check it out. Uh, we don't need it, and there's plenty of. Uh, stress relief material <laughs> and uh, now we can just take the shelves put them aside and let's uh, put the actual sort of legs um, on the other so the shelves as you can see you've got a first uh, the bottom shelf and the bottom shelf is obviously filled 100 percent and the other shelves are only uh, cut with the uh, with the holes, so they've got the holes cut in them, and we've got some of the top uh, shelves which are obviously shorter. So uh, right now we've got uh, I don't I don't only use GW paints, I also use GW paints, but in Valeo pots like so. I keep uh, moving them to other pots because the dropper uh, dropper bottles are much easier to use. So obviously I will not need these. You can order and custom build your own uh, stand to fit paints like that. So you can mix and match whichever paints you want. Um, so let's just keep these two paints over here for testing purposes. So let's now try to assemble it. Uh, and I will try to assemble it without any glue whatsoever. So just uh, the, 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 the fit is very tight. Uh, you can you have to use a little bit of force to put it in, but. Uh, that's uh, on one hand it's unfortunate because obviously if you if you don't have enough strength in your hands you you, you might struggle you will have to ask your uh, stronger uh, colleague or, or parent i don't know uh, how old are you uh, but i think that's best because you don't have to you know use any glues you don't have to wait um, the actual process of putting it together will take a couple of minutes and it's ready to go so let's just try to see if it's uh, level and i can see it is so we can continue with another shelf with actual paint holder and now i notice that i've made a mistake and three two one yes i've put the handles on the inside so now i need to take it off and assemble it properly now so we've got it all assembled uh, the handles and uh, are on the outside which is makes it easier to carry uh, and these are obviously used for uh, carrying it around from one place to another uh, let's just make sure that it's all nice and tight and keep on putting these bits, shelves in. And you start on one side, wiggle it in a little bit over here, wiggle a bit over there and it sort of fits nice and snug and the whole process needs to be repeated for every single shelf. So now it's all assembled, as you can see it looks very nice, uh, plenty of white space and it fits the bottles, the dropper bottles and the um, normal GW bottles perfectly. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to fill it with other paints uh, just to show you, uh, right, one thing actually, uh, you need to pay attention to these, uh, to these holes for paint bottles. Uh, you can't put one after one behind each other, just directly behind each other. You need to sort of use it as a, uh, how, do you, how do you say it, uh, like um, shift it a little bit to the to one side so you can see other paint that is behind it. Uh, I'll show you an example of a couple of, uh, of, of bottles in a second. All right, there comes the bottles. There come the bottles. Uh, so if I put them one after, one behind each other, uh, they would be sort of you know obscured. If you put them like that, you can still read the names. Well, and actually, I put three yellows. Yeah, so that's the only thing you need to pay attention to. And the other one is that you need to make it firm and uh, so it's not wobbly. It's just remember, it's just cardboard. Uh, you know, not, not cardboard HDF. So you just need to wiggle it uh, and make it flat. Uh, on, on on the inside, 
it looks very boring obviously but it doesn't have to look exciting and these are the handles you, you, you can easily lift it and put it to one side or or just move it from room to room right so i've put some paints in the in the rack and as you can see they fit quite nicely uh, i've only managed to fit like one third of my collection of paints uh, without mentioning even pigments and other chemicals that i need to put in but as you can see it can carry all kinds of pots uh, from the top obviously when the uh, where it was switched uh, I've got uh, the sort of dropper bottles for my GW paints and uh, as you can see I've got old foundation paints uh, actually Kromlech pigment boxes um, uh, fit uh, so we've got uh, old bolter kind of uh, the foundation the foundation bottles fit the old bo uh, bolter round uh, bottles also fit uh, and I presume that some of the bigger ones as well would fit from other manufacturers, but uh, it fits and looks quite nicely in my opinion. Uh, it's quite sturdy uh, when you put the all, all the paints in and it's, uh, it looks all right. So obviously I need to color code it and put it nicely uh, all together. So now have a look at a couple of the uh, shots that I've done of, of, of the whole area uh, with the paints. And uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.